Unit 3, Lesson 2 Lunar Eclipse The lunar eclipse it is a astronomical phenomena which occur when the sun, the earth, the moon are nearly in one straight line with the earth in the middle, hiding the sunlight from reaching the moon because the moon reflects the sunlight so the moon can reflect the sunlight and the hiding or hide and can't appear so it occur the lunar eclipse the lunar eclipse phenomena occur in the middle of lunar months when the earth hides the sunlight or part of it it occur in, in full moon phases mean that the moon appear completely appear completely but in the lunar eclipse disappear completely it occur at a rate of two lunar eclipses per year how does lunar eclipse occur when the earth comes between the moon and the sun and they are all, all on one straight line the shadow of the earth fall on the moon so the moon can't reflect the sunlight and disappear completely the total lunar eclipse occur when the whole moon enter umbra region and the partial lunar eclipse appear in the ben umbra region or area in the total lunar eclipse the moon disappear completely because because it uh, it is in the total or sorry it is the in umbra area of the earth which is a dark shadow there is no part of light or part of the sunlight so it hide completely but in the partial if the part of the moon enter the partial eclipse and the other part in the umbra region it disappear it disappear partial and appear the other part so it it is called the partial lunar eclipse so there is two types of lunar eclipse sorry miss solar here lunar eclipse the total lunar eclipse it is a lunar eclipse occur when the whole moon enter the shadow area of earth the sun and the air the moon are on one straight line with the earth is in the middle in the start of the total lunar eclipse the color of the moon tend to be red due to the red rays that cannot be absorbed from above the atmosphere to the earth but the partial lunar eclipse the lunar eclipse occur when the part of the moon enter the shadow area of the earth and disappear part of it disappear part of it and the other part appear if the moon enter completely in the shadow area this phenomena it is called non eclipse semi shaded non eclipse it occur when the moon enter the semi shaded air a semi shaded area when the moon completely enter the semi shaded area in this case the moonlight turn to be faint without being eclipsed the semi shadow area is where part of the sunlight is hidden from the moon to illustrate a part of lunar eclipse phases on 1st February 2008 it start at 3 o'clock in the morning and it end at 3 o'clock and 51 minutes the time taken is 51 minutes lunar eclipse doesn't re doesn't require precautions warning or special device to observe it because lunar eclipse doesn't harm eyes or doesn't emit harmful rays like the Sun there is no annular eclipse because the earth has a great size relative to the moon so it block all sunlight when it come between the sun and the moon
OK. Comparison between solar and the lunar eclipse. Solar eclipse, the moon comes between the Earth and the sun. This means that the moon in the middle, but the lunar Earth in the middle. Solar eclipse occur in the morning, um, but the lunar eclipse occur at night. Solar doesn't exceed several minutes and a few seconds, but the lunar lasts for more than two hours. Solar requires precautions because the sun emit harmful rays but the lunar doesn't require precaution or special device to look at it because the, the moon doesn't emit harmful rays each of the lunar or solar eclipse represent an astronomical phenomena which result in the hiding of all part of each of the sun or the moon from the earth's populations for a period of time thank you In this video, we're going to take a closer look at an astronomical event called a lunar eclipse. To begin our investigation, it's important to understand the natural phases of the moon as it revolves around the Earth. These moon phases occur over the course of a month and are due to the moon's relative location to the sun with respect to the Earth. This monthly cycle is important as a lunar eclipse can only occur during a full moon when it is opposite the Earth from the sun and fully illuminated. On rare occasions, the full moon lines up precisely on the ecliptic plane, the plane on which the Earth rotates around the sun. When this happens, the Earth blocks some or all of the sun's light and casts a shadow on the moon, which we see as a lunar eclipse. During a lunar eclipse, the Earth's shadow has two distinct parts. The umbra is the inner cone-shaped part of the shadow, is the part in which all the light has been blocked. The penumbra is the outer part of Earth's shadow, where sunlight is only partially blocked. Scientists recognize three types of lunar eclipses, penumbral, partial, and total. A penumbral eclipse occurs when only the penumbral shadow is hitting the moon. A penumbral eclipse is very hard to see because of all the parts of the moon are still receiving some light from the sun. A partial lunar eclipse happens when a portion of the moon enters Earth's umbra, while the rest of the moon remains in the faint light of the penumbra. In a total lunar eclipse, the moon is entirely in the Earth's umbra, casting a shadow across its full visible surface. But even in a total eclipse, the moon remains faintly illuminated by indirect sunlight refracted through the Earth's atmosphere, giving the moon a faint red glow. Partial lunar eclipses occur at least twice a year, but total lunar eclipses are less common. If you're lucky enough to see one, be sure to get out your camera, as a lunar eclipse provides an opportunity for some amazing photographs. For thousands of how-to and advice videos on any topic, visit monkeysee.com.